I've always been fascinated by space. It's so mysterious. We're kind of floating in this cosmic aquarium. What's not to be uh, loved about that idea? Hi, I'm Mike Einziger, and I play guitar in the band Incubus. And we have a charity foundation called the Make Yourself Foundation. And if you make a contribution, we might send you to space. If I were in a shuttle on my way into space, I think I would want to be listening to The Rite of Spring by Stravinsky. I definitely would want to go to another planet if I could, <laughs> for sure. I can't even imagine what that would be like. You know, to set foot on another celestial body, that would be crazy. I would just, I don't know, I would just want to go for a long walk, <laughs> take a look around, see if there are any little green, funny looking people walking around. I remember being a little kid and, um, and seeing 2001, and it scared the shit out of me. That and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It scared me in a way that also made me really excited. You know, I've always been really interested in space. I mean, particularly cosmology, physics. Um, I always read a lot about those things and in school learned about those subjects. But I actually studied history of science at Harvard for two years. And that was my first opportunity to really dig into those subjects and, and um, unpack some of those crazy ideas and really, really learn about them. Space and science, these concepts, they really do interact with the way that I think about music. I started writing music for like an orchestral ensemble, Forced Curvature of Reflective Surfaces. That was the name of the piece of music. The concepts were based on the idea of the curvature of space and time. There were sections of it where everything would slow down and then it would speed back up again. And the entire score of that piece was a mirror reflection of itself. So it was like, if you looked at the music as I wrote it, you could like open it up like this and half of it would be up here and the other half would be down here. And you could just fold it in half and it would all be the same, or like that. And there was another piece of music that I wrote called End Vacuum. And I had it performed at UCLA. Instead of having like some kind of like an opening act, there's a guy named Brian Cox. I went to the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva. We became friends and he gave me a tour underground of the particle accelerator. Before the, the piece was performed, Brian came and gave the most amazing talk about space, about space travel, about our place in the universe. And the coolest part of it was he pulled this slide up and it was like the rings of Saturn. And you could see this little speck buried in the rings of Saturn. And he was like, yeah, you see that little dot right there? And he was like, yeah, that's Earth. Everybody let out this collective like gasp because it was like, wow, that's Earth. You know, this tiny little speck. The idea of understanding how small we are in such a vast landscape, oceanscape, space scape, <laughs> that's just like really incredible to me. It's, that's the thing that's terrifying and beautiful at the same time. It's just so thought-provoking. I mean, I could just spend the rest of my life thinking about that. I can't ever get bored with those thoughts. They're so deep and profound and inescapable. <laughs>